Hello there, friends. It's me, Kara Lee. We're trying something a little bit different today. Saw this game in the indie presentation the other day, and there was a demo available, so I thought it might be fun if we checked it out. It looked like a really beautiful game. So we are going to see what it's about today. I may have to do a few adjustments to the volume as we go. It's... Try to imagine what it would be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Now try to imagine what it was like to wake up having never gone to sleep. That was when you were born. Interesting. And it's already From beautiful. From time to time, I ask myself, is it possible to miss something you've never known? Let me rephrase. Is it possible to be homesick for a place you have never been? That's something to think about. <laughs> I think there's actually a word for that in some language other than English. Okay, so we're leaving we're using the left joystick to move. I'm wondering. Ooh, this looks like a graves gravesite my son i was born on earth but i think i have been homesick for europa my whole life i'm writing this from the island the view from up here is like nothing else i've seen okay we can we can run around. Um, do, doesn't seem like we have any choice in character. This is who we get. And I don't know if that's just in the demo or if you'll have... Uh, if this is the character the in the time story. you read this, I'll be gone. And the world will look very different from how it does now. But the island should still be there. They built this thing to last. Okay, so our character just climbs up as we get to things. We didn't have to push any buttons to do that, just did it. Press B to Come jump. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. Come here and think of me. Okay, so we can jump now. R will rotate the camera, okay. So we can look around. I'm going to have to be a little careful because they do get motion sick kind of easy. But look up at the sky here. Can we look up? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that big planet there. That's amazing. Let's take a little bit of a look around. I'm not sure what's making that sound. We've got some mountains. Space that we just came from sure is pretty. All right, let's keep going. Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh, we're sliding now. Okay, that's cool. Hold B to charge power jump. Okay, I'm guessing that's for this high wall over here. Okay, that's cool. So we have a power jump. I'm just gonna start walking around. Is it our little pack making that sound? There we go. It's nice that the character like grabs onto things. That's not something I'm doing, that's just something the character does. When they get close to an edge. Let's see. Oh, we're hiding in the bush. <laughs> just trying to charge that jump. Okay, wow, look at this. That's where we just came from, over there. Some tall mountains. We've got some butterflies flying up. I don't really know what um, we're trying to do yet in here. I guess we'll just keep following this path. But it is absolutely beautiful to look at, for sure. 
And it seems pretty, like, open-world-ish. We can run around wherever we want. It's not making us go a certain direction. We can explore. We can look around. There's kind of a cloud on the ground over here. Let's see if we can get into it. <laughs> you don't really see it when you're in it. But these clouds are thicker. Let's see if we can... Oh, I love how you slide when you get on a hill. That's kind of fun. Okay, so maybe we have reached an edge that we can't get past there. When we go there, it's like a strong wind comes up. We can't go inside the cloud. Okay. All right, let's go back to the path then and see where we're headed. We can jump. We can do a big high jump. This is really pretty. I'm assuming as we go, it's going to tell us more of the story here. And all the zooming in and out that's happening is also not me. <laughs> it's doing that naturally. Okay, a little more sliding down the hill. We're coming to a little town, looks like. Some kind of- whoop! Yep, gonna have to be careful with that movement. <laughs> What is this? Can we do anything with this? Well, we can stand on it. So far we haven't been able to interact with anything. Just look at it. Let's see what happens when we get over here. Ooh, boy oh boy. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be other people around. Ooh, that looked dangerous. Don't stand on the fence. <laughs> Press Y to interact. Okay, there's a picture that says goodbye. It looks like maybe us with an older gentleman there. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. Okay, so that's the only interaction we can do, evidently, was to take that photo. We can't go inside. Is there something over here? Okay, here's something maybe we can pick up. Some rocks or... Oh, okay, there's a book. Um, use L to turn the pages. Here we go. Okay. And we can listen to it, so let's do that. My son, from time to time, I ask myself, is it possible to miss something you've never known? Uh, let me rephrase. Is it possible to be homesick for a place you've never been? I was born on Earth, but I think I have been homesick for Europa my whole life. I'm writing this from the island. The view from up here is like nothing else I've seen. By the time you read this, I'll be gone, and the world will look very different than how it does now. But the island should still be there. They built this thing to last. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. Come here and think of me. Okay. Okay, so we've got a drawing in the back page here. It's a butterfly. Maybe some kind of bird. <laughs> um, okay, so there's nothing else we can do here. I'm not sure how to get out of this. There we go. So the Y button took us back out of it, if you're trying this yourself. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can interact with here, but that thing on the table does look very similar to what we have on our back, so that's interesting. Um, like maybe somebody was building another one there. There does... Kind of look like there's a chest right there, but nothing else is bringing up the interact button, so let's just walk around. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Just check everywhere just in case. Oh, we can climb this. That's... Can we get up on the roof, I wonder? Let me see if we can boost ourselves that high. Oops. Oh, we're like on the, uh, the ledge there. Can we get up on the roof? Nope. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's try this again. Can we stand out a little bit? Can we get up to the roof? Oh, not quite. Well, it's interesting. Oh! 
We've collected an emerald. I didn't even see that there. Let's jump up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the character <laughs> is a little difficult to control. They're kind of going all kinds of directions, like climbing on things when um, we get close to them. Before, even before we start jumping or in addition to jumping. Or if I jump. Uh, let's see if we can charge up and jump like across this water. Nope, but we can go in the water, so that's good to know. The water doesn't hurt us. Uh, I don't know what we need the emeralds for, but we have one now. Um, I'm not sure how to look at... let's see. Nope, plus button brings up that. That just brings up our book. I don't know how to look at like what's in our inventory. Alright, maybe it'll tell us at some point. I, I tried a few buttons, but I don't want to start pushing too many things. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, and I'm sorry if that motion's getting anybody, because it's getting me a little bit. Some of it I'm doing, and some of it it's doing on its own. Okay, so we can kind of climb on just about anything. We can look around. This is pretty cool. There's a lot to look at, for sure. And we don't really know at this point what we're looking for yet. We're talking about the island, and I, I wonder if they're talking about that one right up there between the mountains. There's some lights going up from the ground over there. I see a yellow one on the left and a blue one on the right. I wonder if those are something. Let's go check that out. Okay. I think it probably is in encouraging. Oh, look at this! We got an old tortoise. <laughs> can we interact with this guy? We can climb on him. He's just having a walk <laughs> around. Okay. That's pretty cool. We can't um, talk to him or anything. Can we do anything in this water? None of the water seems to be very deep. We're just like walking through it. So that's interesting. Okay, so we're coming up on where this yellow light is. Let's check that out. So you can definitely get up on places without jumping. You just climb when you get to it. Has surpassed my expectations in every way this place. I don't know what I expected. They've given me a few days to adjust, but I can't make my mind believe that this is real. The air tastes like water, and the water tastes like wine. The gardeners have turned this place into a paradise. Okay, so it looks like we might be picking up extra pages as we go. So this is like trying to turn the page, but uh, there's definitely more pages to go. So this is very interesting. There's a little drawing that goes with each one. So let's see if we can get up here and take a look. We've got another glowing light over there, so we're going to head in that direction. But what I was wondering is if we take off <laughs> from this spot, like how far we can get. So that's what we're, we're going to see if we can make it all the way over to that other structure there. So I'm going to hold down that B button to charge up and then go. Okay, so we didn't get super far, and we kind of slid across the surface of the water when we landed there. That was kind of cool. Okay, this is very pretty. Hold B to charge the power jump. Okay. Well, I don't know why we needed to do... Hold B to glide. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? We're gliding. <laughs> uh, I don't know what... I don't know what that was. If it's telling us we can't go that way... Okay, hold B to power jump. So once we get in the air, then we glide? 
This is gonna this is gonna take some learning. Alright, let's get in the air and then there we go. I think we made it this time. Hey, look at that. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely gonna take some learning how to do that. Okay, let's see if we can get up here. So now we know we can glide. Maybe we can get a little further than we did the last time. Where was that other uh, blue light that we saw? Was that here? Or is it the one over there? It kind of looks like there's places we can explore, but it doesn't really let you go everywhere. So there is another building over there. Why don't we see how far we can get checking that out? All right, so we're holding down B and doing the jump. And then once we get in the air, we hold down B again and we can do this glide through the air, which is really cool. All right, so that got us this far. What is this little guy? Looks like some kind of old machine, maybe. We can climb on just about anything, which is cool. There are butterflies flying around. So far we haven't been able to interact with too much other than to climb on it. Um, there's a deer here. Oh, he ran away when he saw us. So the camera does kind of adjust itself as you run, as you go. So you don't have to uh, turn the camera yourself too much. Is this another one of the emeralds that we're looking for? Let's go see. Collected two of seven emeralds. Okay, so I guess that's our objective right now is to find these seven emeralds. Um, let's take a look up there. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything up there. It looks like some kind of ruins or something that we're working through. Um, it, it's very much reminding me of Breath of the Wild with these metal, uh, like, they look very similar. It's like a similar vibe to the ones that were all over in Breath of the Wild and, and with the ruins. That is totally what it's making me think of here. All right, so I'm not turning the camera at all right now. The game is doing that. Oh, I'm trying to get back up here to the path and go back around this corner. So we can turn it, but the game kind of takes takes it back as soon as you let go of controlling it. So that is very interesting. All right, so let's try another glide here. We will jump up and glide. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know how to keep like keep the backpack going. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. All right, we got another page for our book. Let's check it out. The sins of the past can stay home on Earth. Things will be different this time. They have to be. Maybe a little bit of a mystery here. I don't know what our emeralds are going to do. Let's walk around this way a little bit. Just explore what there is to see here. It kind of seems like most of it might just be some places for you kind of jumping off points. I don't know. It is very interesting like which ways the camera is choosing to turn as we go. Because again, I'm not moving the left and right. I'm not moving the camera. I'm just moving the character. Oh, we've got a doorway here. Can we go inside? Oh. Okay, I just pressed the Y button. And that did some kind of thing. With the pack, I don't know what that's supposed to do. It hasn't told us about that yet. All right, so let's see if we can get over to this thing in the middle here. And take a look around. There's a blue light up on that platform, so why don't we try getting over there? We should be able to get a little higher here. 
and glide over. Okay, this is pretty cool, I have to say. It is pretty cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall. Okay, we're just gonna climb up here. Whoops. Yeah, this camera is, woo. <laughs> it's something. Ignite lanterns to open passageways. Okay. Ooh. We've got a doorway opening. So the sounds in this game, I don't know if you've been paying attention. I wouldn't really call it music so much. There's lo lots of like breeze, like leaves blowing in the breeze. We can hear the flame. We can hear the water. We can hear birds. It's very, very just like mellow and chill. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can fly across here and check out this door that opened up. Uh, it kind of looks like there's another doorway there. So far we can't interact with any of these things other than just climbing on them. So uh, very interesting. There, There's a big rock block in the doorway down there. I wonder if that ever gets opened up. So this is very interesting so far for sure. Here's our doorway. It looks like a long hallway ahead of us. Take a little look left and right. I don't know if there's any kind of hidden stuff in here that we should be looking for. I tend to kind of explore a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I like, um, you know, games like this, like Legend of Zelda, where you, you can just kind of take your time looking around, seeing what's there. It does kind of seem like it wants us to do the gliding most of the time here. We haven't found anything hidden so far, but that doesn't mean that there won't be something. <laughs> Um, but also, this is just, it's the demo, so there may be things in the full game that, oh, wow, that we don't see here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're about to go gliding. Let's get our jump. Okay, we're gliding. I kind of want to check out this tree here. Gentle landing. <laughs> We've got this glowing spot. There must be something here, right? Why is there so much light on it? Can we climb this? No? What about the tree? Can we climb this tree? Okay, no, we can climb most things, but it's not letting us climb that tree, okay. Now where did we come from? We came from way up there. Wow. Okay, so they definitely made it so that you can still get to the end even if you didn't hold your glide the whole way because I just wanted to check out that tree in the middle. It was glowing, looked important. <laughs> we didn't find anything there. All right, we're gonna jump here. Let's see. Look around a little bit. Okay, so it's not letting me turn the camera very much right here. Like that's as far as it'll go to the left. And as far as it'll, I mean to the right, and then far as it'll go to the left. So let's jump up here. See if we can glide up a little bit. Get up here. One step at a time. <laughs> oh wow, let's just take a look before we get all the way up there. No, it's not letting me look up very far either. Very interesting. So it's not giving away too much before you get to it. Uh, with this part. Jump then press Y to stomp. Stomping creates a larger energy bubble. Oh, okay. So is this how we uh, light the... The lanterns there. That's a cool thing. 
So now we can cut. Uh, create energy bubbles. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so let's uh, work our way through this passage down here. We're just gonna glide a little bit till we hit the ground again. You really can stay in the air a good amount of time. I don't know if it stays there until you let go. We found a new spot over here. There's more glowing lights and some orbs, some kind of sparkly orbs there. Oh, what are those? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so that's what's up ahead of us here. Let's just get into a glide already. See how far we go. Okay, so we do hit the ground eventually even- Oh, here's some of these creatures. Oh, they're- They buried themselves, so they look like bushes. Can we step on them? <laughs> we can, but it doesn't really- We don't climb up on them like we do other things. Okay, we got another page. It breaks my heart that you'll never see our homeworld, but I can't say I regret bringing you here. You're going to have everything I couldn't have. Clean water, fresh air, wide open skies. Everything a child deserves. That's what I want for you. And you'll have community too. Human beings to play with and learn from and grow alongside. Every person here has a different story. But our futures are bound up together now. Don't be scared. I know they're going to love you. Okay, so maybe we're looking for some more people here. How many emeralds have we found? Two out of the seven? Three? Have we found three? Now I can't remember. I want to go up here. There's like a little crevice here. Is there something we need to see? Is there a cave back here or something? I don't want to get stuck. I think I might be getting stuck somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Okay. Those little plants are interesting. Plant creatures. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff to look at here. Whoa, oh, here's one of these. Z's Zephyr device allows him to levitate. Okay, so our little pack is called a Zephyr device, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, so we kind of picked that up. How do we do it? Okay. Well, it says that, but it didn't really tell us how to do anything. Okay. We're just gonna keep going. Hold ZR to levitate upwards. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, but I guess you have to have, like the energy from that ball that we just okay what just happened <laughs> there's stuff happening and i don't know crystal stars expand levitation devices peak capacity okay so the more of these we pick up the more we can so that's a way to kind of as we're gliding get pushed back up i guess look at those little mushroom houses over there those are so cute i wonder if we can go inside them Let's see where we just came from. Came from the mountain over there. Those, um, those bubbles do seem to kind of regenerate as we're going. And there's one up there too. Looks like there's some stuff inside that building, but let's try this across the water here. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how this works, maybe. All right, so we are gliding. We can pick this up. And it takes us higher again. Okay. And then... <laughs> no! Can we pick up this other one? Yay! Okay. So that increases our capacity. Does that mean we can go even higher? Okay. Oh, we ran out of stuff again. <laughs> There's definitely a learning curve to this for sure. Okay. 
Let's see how we can do here. So we've increased our capacity a couple times and we picked this stuff up. All right, so let's get back in the air. We're gonna do our glide. And then if we press the ZR, we go up. As long as we have some of the stuff gathered, I guess. Use levitate and glide to stay in the air longer. Yes, that is what we're trying to do. <laughs> oh no, but see, when we run out of the stuff, it, we get that kind of little purple spark out of there that and we don't go up anymore. So you do have to kind of gather some up, I guess, and it gets used up every time you, every time you do a levitate. So I don't know if we're supposed to hold the button down on that one or if we just press it once. Maybe I'm using up too much. Europa. I don't know if we're going to meet any people in the demo. Are we at the end? I don't think so. I feel like there's some stuff we missed, but we're going to try to get to that light that's over there. So let's try this again. We're going to charge up, get in the air, we're gliding. I don't want to glide over to this thing. We can pick that up and then get higher up again. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're out already though. Yeah, you, I definitely we're going to need the capacity. So is this giving us the same, the same stuff? We can get up in the air. Anytime we press ZR, we go up in the air. What is this? Like a little snake or something. Is it following us? It's kind of following us. No? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, let's see if it follows us if we fly off. Oh, we don't have any more of the levitation stuff. Okay, so I don't know what this does. This little thing that's following us. What? Uh, it hasn't said anything to us yet about it. Okay, let's see if we can gather up some of this and get higher up again. No, nope. anything, anything? Oh, that doesn't go in. Okay. This is tricky, you guys. <laughs> tricky, but I'm sure it's one of those things where like once you've done it for a while, it's going to be second nature. It'll just be... So we're going to jump up and hit that ZR and try to get up on the roof here. There we go. That's pretty cool. Now, can we get up there is the question. And what is I, what is this thing following us? Have we adopted a pet here? <laughs> oh, we don't have any more of the, the stuff to take us up. But that's okay. Our light is down here. We'll go check this out. And then it looks like we'll be able to climb back up on these platforms. So we'll try that. But we've got another page of our book here. So let's check it out. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Why have so many terraforming projects failed where this one succeeded? It can only be that Europa holds some innate capacity for life. Oops, I went the wrong way. Okay, got some more pictures. Not really sure what we're supposed to get from that yet. <laughs> we'll put that away and jump up here and try to glide over. So the the little orbs that give you the boost power are definitely whoa 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 whoa. Okay, so every time we've kind of fallen somewhere that. Um, we weren't meant to, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it, it does that strange little orb that picks us up and puts us back. So there is like a, a safety measure there. Ooh. Okay, this should increase our capacity again. There's another one of these. I don't know how much it increases it by. It doesn't seem to hold very much so far, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. We, we have some stuff to learn still, I'm sure. What is this? We got another. 
Another little light. We got two now. <laughs> two little friends following us. Oh, and all these little bird-like things. Okay, what's this? Find three wisps to unlock the trigger. Okay, so these are wisps. And we need to find one more. Okay, do we think we need to go up? Do we think we need to go down? We probably need to go up. So we're gonna have to like remember where this is, huh? All right, we're gonna have to fly a little bit here. It's definitely meant for you to be flying along these places, I feel like. Oh, we got another page already. Look at the gardeners. They came to this moon as mere tools to prepare for our arrival. But through a thousand years, they've evolved into a whole ecosystem, mimicking the biodiversity of old Earth. I can't wait to learn more about these creatures, to live among them. They're our family now. Okay. So these were creatures that were sent to prepare things, I guess. All those little guys that we saw running around. Is this another wisp over here? I think it might be. Let's see if we can glide over and get it. And then we can go back and unlock whatever that was over there. Whoa! No, it's not a wisp either. <laughs> that sent us way up. Okay, whoa. Um, we weren't we weren't quite ready for that, so let's try that again. We're getting into the wind and jumping up. Okay, so let's glide while we're here. Get on the edge, <laughs> at least. Get on the edge, woo! That's wild. Okay, we can hear the wind blowing up here. I don't know where that third wisp is gonna be. Is it right there? Maybe it's that. Whoops. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It's it's you're kind of fighting against the natural way that, that the camera wants to turn sometimes. But we're gonna go see if this is our third wisp. Just gonna glide slowly down. Woo! Can we grab it? Oh. Okay, we fell kind of hard there. I gotta get better at landing. <laughs> But we did get our third wisp, so now we gotta find that blue light again. Which was back this way, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So we're just gonna glide over. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Oh, okay. It kind of turned on a little air highway for us there. That's cool. Alright, let's go down and gather this up. Ooh, it's a little hard to uh, direct yourself. Okay, we've got some of that. We're gonna zoom up a little bit and just keep going as long as we can. We'll keep trying to gather this up and <laughs> stay in the air a little bit longer. You can kind of just... the word I'm looking for. Even if you touch the ground, you do... you can just go straight back into your glide. See, we've touched the ground here. We can just go up. And I keep forgetting that, like, we, we probably have some of this saved up. Nope. <laughs> when you get that little purple spark, you're done. All right, so there's another blue light up here. Let's see if we can make our way up to that. We're gonna go up. Try to collect some of this along the way. Woo! This is, yeah, there's definitely a learning curve to this. <laughs> definitely a learning curve. Oh no, I was hitting the wrong button. So we had another kind of hard landing there. Okay, this is fun, but definitely going to take some practice. I know you have a lot of questions, most of which can't be answered in this notebook. There's a chance you're angry, or that you'll get angry one day when you're older. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. Generations, even. That 
is why I'm sending you ahead. They're sending us ahead. Okay. All right, let's see if we can follow this up. We'll do our best. St oh, we run out of that stuff quick. <laughs> We're gonna keep working on our capacity here. We can climb. We've got some floating rocks here. It's interesting how some parts of this look a little more cartoonish than the rest. There's a lot to look at. Look at this. This is where we just came from. And I don't know like how much stuff we're missing if we're it because this is the demo. I feel like we're kind of just following a path and maybe it's a little more uh, explorable in the full version. I don't know. We might be missing some stuff though. I'm trying to go to the glowing lights that we see. I don't really see any that we missed. There's all those orbs and we're going higher and higher and higher so I don't know if we're getting up to that island. Or if we're headed somewhere else. Here's some more glowing lights. Lots of them. Okay, so we've got another page for our book here. This place looks important. Like we have some lanterns to light. As I'm writing this, most of the human race are still asleep on the island. In a few years' time, you're going to join them. I'll stay back here and work so that when you wake up, you'll wake up somewhere better. I don't know exactly what the world will look like. All I know is that people on the homeworld made the mistake of not thinking past tomorrow. By sending you ahead, I'm staking my heart on the future. Is that us? <laughs> is that us? Okay, so we're getting the story of this place as we go. All right, so now we need to, I'm feeling like, we need to go out and light these lanterns before we go to the center. Okay, there's one. Whee! <laughs> I love that little slide we do. The, <laughs> the movement is very... It's not precise, it's kind of hard to control almost. Okay, so yeah, I figured that would open up something in the center there. So we'll go, it looks like a button. So we'll go do that jump um, that it taught us. So we press, uh, nope. Oh, well, okay. I was gonna do the, the B Y, but we just did the Y and it worked, so. Okay, so now we're just steering the flight. We're riding this wind. We're, we don't have to be gliding or anything. It's gliding us. We're just steering. Wow, this is so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. All right, so I'm guessing we're trying not to hit these rocks. So let's try to avoid them. Whoa. This some kind of giant creature up here. Okay, so when I pressed the button that usually lets us glide, we did like a flip or something <laughs> in the air here. Okay, so we're are we flying with this guy? Are we on our way up to the island here? It looks like we're getting closer. So is he creating this wind for us? doing here Got another place to look at 
Oh, it's like a big statue kind of thing there. Like maybe a some ro <laughs> some robots that aren't working anymore. Oh, interesting. We've got like one mechanical eye. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all Ooh. we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. That is why I'm sending you ahead. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be so much to explore in this game. And look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness. If anyone can decide about tomorrow, it's you. Whatever you turn out wow. to be, whoever you choose to become, it's your world now, Z. It's your future. Okay, well, there we go. I guess that's the end of the demo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for checking this out. It looks like a really awesome game. And from what I understand, this one comes out on August 8th. So definitely something to look forward to. Very cool. Some controls to learn for sure, but that would be something uh, I think that would become intuitive over time. And uh, it, it wasn't really difficult. It just definitely had a learning curve. I would say that if you're easily motion sick that you may have a little problem with it. I haven't had too much problem with it actually. Um, if As long as I let it turn the camera and don't keep trying to turn it myself there's not too much crazy movement and it was doing a pretty good job of keeping you kind of in the direction that you needed to go. So yeah really beautiful game. I am really looking forward to this one and I hope you guys are too. Like I said, thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you left a like on the video and subscribe. We won't get to play this until August, but we have lots of fun things going on between now and then. So I hope you will join us for some of those and I'll see you next time, friends. Have a beautiful day.